Hi guys, I'm Sakura and I'm one of the co-founders of Blogettes. Today we're going to show you guys how to texturize your font and your layers by using the eraser tool. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop and we have this adorable picture and it says blog your heart out. Now of course I use the text tool to type in blog your heart out and again you can do this with the brush tool you can do it with the text tool um, you really can do it with everything and anything when it's just a regular layer now I rasterized my layer and I combined it so what I did was I right clicked and then I already did it so I can't but it says rasterize layer right here so that's gonna allow your text uh, layer become rasterized and now it's just like a regular la layer right here. So now we're going to go into the eraser tool. Now brushes work the same as erasers and we've said this in other YouTube videos before um, but you can download brushes which we have a YouTube video for so you can just go to um, that video to learn how to download your brushes but again brushes work as erasers as well. So we're going to go into our eraser tool and we're going to download or we're going to pick a eraser that is going to be a good texture that we want to be using. Let's see, we can do, let's do this guy right here. Okay, so that's the eraser that we're going to be using. So right here the opacity and the flow is really going to matter depending on what brush you use what eraser you use um, to texturize your uh, layer so i'm going to use this one and let's try this one out you just stamp it on boom now do you see when i zoom in that you see how it's all textured now and it kind of has that rustic look that's with 100% opacity, 100% flow. Now, if we want to reduce the opacity a little bit and we don't want direct like holes as like you see here, then you can just lower the opacity a little bit and it won't be as uh, distinct. So that's really it. Um, and it's such a cool way to add a cool effect to your layers and it's a lot of fun. I can do the same thing to my rectangle right here, the background. So yeah, you can do all that fun stuff. Let's try it out for the rectangle really quick. So we're gonna go to the eraser tool and I'll use the same. Oh, we gotta rasterize it. So I'm going to right click and then rasterize layer. Okay, now I can erase it, use the eraser tool. So I'm gonna make it bigger so it fits and boom. Okay, or I can lower it. If I did that, I don't like how the iPad really sees through and it's black so I'm going to reduce it so this is when you lower the opacity let's try it out see it's a little bit more faint now so that's how you can really use the eraser tool and again every eraser you choose will give it a different effect so you can download all these different amazing brushes and erasers online so check out that video thanks guys for being with us today and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel thanks guys bye